His gentle protest songs and deep social conscience made Pete Seeger a folk music icon. He joined the Communist Party in the 1930s and hitchhiked round America with Woody Guthrie and others, immersing himself in the country's rich music traditions, playing at union meetings and political rallies. After World War II, his group, the Weavers, were blacklisted as communist sympathizers and kept out of concert halls and off television. We shall He went solo. This, his adaptation of a gospel hymn, became an anthem of the civil rights and anti-war movements of the 1960s. And it wasn't his only song to become a protest movement standard. Up my dirty stream. In later years, he channeled his protests into environmental causes, in particular to cleaning up the Hudson River, beside which he'd built his home. Music at its best uh, helps us not only to forget our troubles, but at its best helps us understand our troubles. And occasionally music helps us do something about our troubles. He'd become a father figure to social activists, a man who saw music as more than just entertainment.